crawl space rats and we're about to go under, right? No. All right, guys. So I get a call from Priscilla, the homeowner, stating that, guys, we're getting a lot of rack activity underneath our crawl space. We're hearing them and now they're beginning to come up into the walls. All right, guys, when it comes to rats inside of a crawl space, it's a perfect, perfect environment. It's warm, it's damp often. A lot of times, us as homeowners, we don't inspect our crawl spaces. Rats love that because they can have a party underneath your crawl space. But where things begin to get a little ugly is when you start to get urine odor emanating because of all of the building materials below the house is absorbing, can't take it anymore, so it starts to off gas. So that's a sign that you have massive rodent activity underneath your house. Second thing is they begin to chew pipes. They go into ducting systems. They love insulation with ducting because they'll take that, they'll either nest inside of it and or use that insulation for nesting. So we have a lot of inspection to do today. We're gonna do a perimeter check, of course. We're gonna do our smoke test, but uh, apparently there's a pretty bad odor and that's telling me that this is a massive, massive infestation. Let's go on in. All right, the team is here. Big day ahead of us. You guys ready? Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Okay guys, so here's the house. Here's the crawl space entrance number one. And then over here, we have another crawl space entrance. But look at this, guys, right off the bat. There's an entry point right there. A little doggy. Hi. 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 Hey, doggy. All right, so here's the crawl space here inside. And they're hearing a little bit of activity here. When I do my inspection, this is what I look for. Under beds like this. Look at here. If you look, guys, there's a opening there and we have no idea what's behind here as well so that makes our investigation a little bit more difficult but this could always be excluded here for sure this right here guys cable guys are notorious to do this right here so if you hire a cable guy make sure you inspect after their work make sure they don't create openings like this here's a big rat yeah rats love hedges like this look at this little juvenile all right we're getting suited up here all right guys it's time to go inspect the crawl space come follow me see right here guys look at this look at the duct system chewed going right through here and then you can see some of the runways so here's the crawl space you can see the grease marks here they're using the old central vacuum system as a runway. Hi right, guys, it's really smelling here. I'm gonna head over to this corner, see what we can find. Customer was reporting this bedroom up above with heavy, heavy odor, so let's go check it out. Oh yeah. Yeah, look at this. You can see the urine up there. And then also, look it up here, the grease marks on the wire. Look at the urine, guys. Look at the urine coming out of the ducting. Look at that massive hole. Just chewed right through that thing. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this out, you guys. Let's see what's inside this duct system. Let's see what's inside. Really? That's a nest up here. Is that? Yeah. See it? Oh, yeah. Piles of, piles of poop? Yeah. That's what a nest. That's a nest. Yep, there's a nest right there, guys. Look at that. Woo. That's what they do. They take all the insulation and then create themselves their nesting environment. Nasty, nasty, guys. Nasty. All right, check this out. So right here, are the pipe penetrations through the wood, and you can see they're coming right through there. So we're gonna have to get to the other side of this footing. They love using this wire here as their runways. See how they're climbing up here. You can tell they're chewing the wires here. We start disinfecting using our enzymes. Okay guys, so I went ahead and came to another section of the crawl space 
Remember I was telling you guys about damp spaces. Rodents love damp spaces and sure enough, I'm gonna have the guys run water. We're gonna run a test because this soil right here is really, really wet. Okay guys, run the water. Water's running. Okay, thank you. Oh yeah, let's see here. I see water. Yeah, go ahead, shut it off. So this is a conducive environment for rats, guys, right here. All of the soil here is wet. Okay. Oh. Woo. Okay, hot spot is over there. N nothing on this side, really. Okay, guys, so remember I was telling you about this was a suspect area, right? Get it, dump it right into the crawl space. Look what I found. Right here, you see the, uh, you see the wiring? See the grease marks? Looks like the owner. They, they caught one ju juvenile rat, supposedly, on this rat trap. So here's the entry point. You can see the rub marks there, and they dive right into there dumping right into the crawl space. So that one hole right there, guys, allows that amount of rat activity inside that house. All right, we're coming onto the other side of the crawl space. You can see some nesting material there. They may have been migrating all over this crawl space, utilizing the central back system. Some nesting there. You see a lot of droppings here as well. So all of this is gonna get decontaminated with our Twinzyme bag and disposed. So this wet soil, guys, just so you know, is all urine, rat urine. You can see the difference in colors. It's darker. I don't know if you can see on camera, but all of this right here is urine. Here's an old waste pipe. If you guys hire plumbers and you're replacing your pipes underneath your house, make sure that they dispose of this. You should never leave pipes underneath the house like this. I hate when plumbers do that. All right, I'm going to go in the tight, small crawl space where they're dumping in and investigate that area right now. Okay, I'm inside. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Here's the runway. Here's an open pipe. Hey uh, guys, I can't make it. This is super tight between the waste pipe and the joist. I can't fit in there. I have to try to squeeze through. That's the tough part of crawl spaces. It gets tight and claustrophobic when you begin to kind of get a little crazy chasing down these rats. Some snails. There's some nesting stuff there. Yeah. They're definitely coming through here, running all the way across, and then migrating throughout that crawl space. So good find here. We're gonna clean up now, get rid of the nesting, and then sanitize this small crawl space. You guys can see all the findings so far just with this couple of hours of investigation. Insane how these rats can migrate throughout that crawl space. All right, we're up on the roof doing a smoke test. The guys found a broken vent up here, so they asked me to come by and take a look at it. So we're doing a smoke test, and we found, put the, put the light in here, Henrique, so we can show our, the audience there's water in here inside this vent. So this here is canceled. Hear the water? So there should never be water there. So apparently this house was completely renovated and when they renovated it, that's when these, my, our customers began to get activity in their house. So you could see a lot of foliage around this neighborhood here, guys. There's a lot of rats. So when there's a lot of disruption, obviously and you're a neighbor, you're gonna be impacted by it. So we're getting prepared to do the exclusion work here. So we're gonna screen that off. Okay, we're getting ready to do some snap traps underneath the crawl space. And anytime you guys do trapping in a crawl space, what you wanna do is use these type of flags. So that way, as you're crawling, people will know that there's traps, but it can identify exactly where you place the traps. So we're about to start that right now. Okay, so we know a hot spot was over here in the corner. So we're gonna set up two traps over here. Okay, then the next one, We'll set over by where your right shoulder is, or we'll set it up over here. All right, so now we're flagging. And again, guys, this is a great way to really identify where the traps are. So when we come in and do monitoring, we know exactly where to go. Or if we send a different technician, they can look for this identification tag here and check our traps. We got a second one here. So that's what that looks like when you're crawling. You see how easy that is to identify? Now, if you're setting traps and you didn't have it, 
you know, you're kind of looking everywhere. Crawl spaces are large spaces to inspect. So this just gives you the ability to identify them. All right, let's go and set the other ones. So our next setup is we know there's a lot of activity runway here. So we're gonna place one directly below it. Okay, we've got a flag there. we got a flag here. When you're in these crawl spaces, it's kind of freaky because you have no idea if there's loose rats. You know, obviously when we come in, they scurry off, but it's gonna be very interesting to see if we catch anything in this crawl space. All right, guys, you can see here, we've got it fully excluded here. Really secure as well. Tight, tight, tight. I'm proud of that work. I'm proud of that work. All right, we've got a rat trap set right there. So we'll monitor that over the next few days. So we've got this planter bed out here, guys, and I don't see any any holes going in, but you can see the dry rot here. So we're not seeing any entry points for rodents to go in, which is good. Well, that's it for today, guys. We're coming back here tomorrow. We're gonna check the traps. We're gonna inspect, see how the odor is. We may have to do another application of our enzyme just because of the massive infestation that was happening there. We're also gonna place our twin trap and see and monitor over for the next 10 days, but we got this one. I'm underneath the crawl space. This is the next morning and I see the wire moving. That means there's a rat. I'll try to get there closer. I just saw the rat tail. See it moving, see it moving. He hears me coming. Let's see where he's at. I saw his tail. Gotta be inside that wall cavity. All right, so this is good. This allows us to figure out where they're getting in and out here because there's definitely a, a spot here. He was here just literally two minutes ago, you guys. Look at the rodent urine dripping, cascading down that pipe. So this is why the rats, they're in here right here, inside that wall cavity for sure. But look at the amount of urine. I see his rat tail. Check this out, you guys. It's right here on the gas pipe. I'm gonna shut the light off in the crawl space and see if he comes out. Cause he's literally inside that wall cavity right there where the gas line is just waiting for me to leave. So maybe if I'm quiet and shut the light off, he may come out. Uh oh guys, <laughs> definitely dark in here. Definitely dark in here. If I hear any movement, I'll turn the light back on. Little trippy, gotta tell you. Gotta be honest with you, little spooky. So here's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna get my spray foam and I'm gonna encapsulate them inside that wall cavity. The good thing is, is that goes out towards the garage so I can open up once he's dead in there and take him out, because I can't get to him from here. Oh yeah, Jimmy, I see his tail right there, look. Yep. Yep. Hanging. Yep. Okay. Long nail. Yep, right there. Okay, now we'll go up in the garage, you guys, here after this cures for a little bit and open up that wall. But we got him. Okay, guys, we're in the garage. You can see the gas line there. So that rat is stuck somewhere in here. Here we go. So there's the gas line. There's our spray foam, guys. Uh, let's see here. Shoot, he's in front of that. Let's see here. Darn it. Got the wall all opened up, guys, and this rat's not here. So upsetting. I gotta go back down to the crawl space now. God, these rats. There he is, guys. Looking straight at us. See it? See his head? We're gonna use the old vacuum extraction trick. It's a little juvenile rat. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hey, hey. <laughs> Hold on. Dang it. All right, we had no choice but to open up the wall inside the office, so let's go check it out. All right, so we built a little containment here. Thompson, how we doing? We know the rats inside this wall cavity, guys. It's just a matter of where. It's amazing how they can move through that insulation. So let's take that out, guys. Okay, we got a tail. We got a tail. It's right there. We cut it at a perfect spot. Damn it. Uh-oh, it moved. 
darn it, guys. I almost had it. I gotta go get my gloves. Let me put my camera in there. See you guys. Can you see it? No, I can't see it. It's cool. Oh, yeah, he's right there. He's right there? He's right there, right above. So the rat's right there, guys. The rat is right there. Look at his tail, guys. See his tail? Give me my gloves. Give me my gloves. Okay. Oh, he's moving. He's moving. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh. Got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Look at that. Got the f that was super exciting guys. There's no way we would have caught that rat. Now what's interesting about crawl space rats is that when you close their entry points, now they're stuck in the crawl space. That's why immediately when I went there to do the inspection, the rat was moving towards that hot area, that hot spot where he's used to. So we've got traps set up. Super, super exciting that we've successfully addressed this crawl space rat issue for, for our clients. All right, guys, we know that there's a lot of outside rodent activity. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to place our twin trap out here. The rats are going to come up here. They hit this feeding station here and bam, they get dunked into this holding tank. And we apply our twin enzyme in there. So we're going to monitor over the next week or so. So I get a call from Priscilla. Actually, I got a text message. We snapped a trap, so I'm gonna head out there right now. It's right there by the crawl space entrance, so I'm gonna head there now and get it cleaned up, reactivate that trap, and also check the twin traps. All right, so it looks like we've got a rat, so we're gonna go underneath the crawl space and pull that bad baby out. All right, here we go. A little juvenile. Anything good? in the back here, but Come out more. Put it in the coffee, Dave. Oh, yeah. Got him good. Little juvenile rat again. Nice little hit there. I'm happy with that one. The reason why the trap got the entire body, you guys, is probably the way that I positioned that trap along that wall. That's why it's important because they stay along walls really well. So he probably went across my trap and uh, bam, got his whole body. Another thing you guys can do, because we get a lot of emails, a lot of inquiries going, twins, the rats are not hitting my traps. What do I do? Well, the rats can be trap shy. So one of the things that you can do is go ahead and do some pre-bait. Do not activate those traps. See if they're hitting that bait. If they're not hitting that bait, change your bait. You got to have variety with these rats. Once they hit it, then you deploy their activate the trap. And I guarantee you, you'll catch some.